What is going on you guys? I'm hanging out here in the backyard. I gotta leave. I gotta leave tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. I'm gonna be in Phoenix for a few days. I have a business meeting there. We're having a mastermind on Saturday. And then uh, I'm flying from there on Sunday to Orlando for Funnel Hacking Live. How many of you are gonna be at Funnel Hacking Live? Uh, by the way, let me know where you're from. Uh, let me know what kind of business you're in. And also, um, give me some likes and thumbs up so I continue to be pumped up to drop you guys um, some really cool coaching every day and we'll continue to customize this specifically for you every single day so um, so here's the thing um, what's up Oscar what's up Aaron what's up William what's going on guys um, so you know one, one of the things everybody talks about when they're starting a business what's up Roberto Alex uh, Sarah Martin what's up guys um, uh, Tuzango uh, William says I'm alive and in a blizzard sweet <laughs> Jose hey what's up dude okay so everyone when they're first starting out a business or a new idea even if you have a business right now and you're starting out a new idea um, you want to go into a new market or you think you, you you understand that there's a new opportunity somewhere okay um, one of the common things is that people will say um, I'll hear people say something in our coaching calls like this is so awesome, no one is doing this, okay? Look, if no one is doing it, chances are it sucks, okay? Like seriously, seriously, if literally zero people are doing it, it probably sucks. Now, you might be the one, you might be like the LeBron James or the, or the Steve Jobs or whatever that's gonna become a multi-billionaire, but chances are, like if you look at the math, okay, me and you have a chance of getting struck by lightning three times in one day uh, versus us coming up with, like, our idea is that actual one brilliant idea, okay? Then, if you look at our chance of actually executing on that idea, it is what scientists would call impossible. Like, literally, it is an impossibility. The number is the fraction is so small of a small of a fraction, it would basically be considered impossible. Now, why am I saying this? I'm not telling you don't go after your dreams. I'm not telling you don't go after a great idea. But what I'm saying is number one, if you're the if you're truly the first person to market, okay, what I've learned in, in business, what I learned, um, we know we started Boost Mobile, we went zero to 4.4 million subscribers. We, we started Telenav, we went zero to 15.5 million subscribers. We IPO'd that company in my 20s. Okay, and then you know, you guys know I worked for three of the Fortune 10 in consulting, and now I've been coaching literally a couple hundred entrepreneurs in the last year. What I've learned, okay, is if you're truly the first to market, you better have millions, like literally hundred million dollars to spend on market research, split testing, ideas, R&D, development, customer research, customer surveys, customer focus groups, like the amount of money you're gonna have to spend is not practical for somebody like me and you who are entrepreneurs to ever be able to afford that or figure that out, okay? So, so what do we do? So what do we do if we have an idea like that? Well, number one, what you need to do is figure out who in your market um, or who in that market has something similar. I need to rotate this. Uh, I'm cooking. Um, you guys wanna see something cool? Can you see that? That's what we do in Texas right there, boys. That's how you do it, entrepreneur style. Forget the barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Give me some hearts on that one. If you guys think that looks good um, but anyway um, I'm kind of hanging out today because I'm gonna be gone for a week but anyway um, what you want to do is you want to you want to take whatever your idea is and you want to create a new opportunity out of it okay <clears throat> but you have to understand that it's a part of a greater uh, a greater ecosystem or a greater um, uh, uh, industry okay so for instance like if you want to um, sell real estate okay like you don't want to go out there now. Now, the, the, okay. There's two sides of this. One side that's that's the wrong way is to go out and say you're a realtor. Okay. So people ask all the time, especially in, in something like real estate, insurance, um, uh, uh, Facebook ad agencies. They're like, hey, I'm a Facebook ad agency. Okay. That's the wrong thing to say. 
because you're so you're so you're such a commoner there's so many people doing it it's a completely red ocean right that that's why your pricing is low that's why people don't respect what you do that's why people don't uh, that customers leave you fast is because you're playing you're positioning yourself in a red ocean okay completely positioning yourself in a red ocean okay so that's one wrong side the other wrong side of it is to say no one does this it's never been done before it's it's like completely something revolutionary that is also the wrong thing to do because literally like okay if you're going to tell me you're the first person to run facebook ads for mma gyms what am i going to think if i'm an mma gym owner I'm going to be going, does this even work? Who is this person? Is he featured on Forbes? Or is he or her featured on Forbes, uh, CNN, uh, Huffington Post, Fox News? Like, uh, is the person speaking at all the big conferences? Like, who is this person? It's brand new? What? Do I want to spend my money on something totally brand new? No, okay? So, so where is the, like... The, the like the, the the deadly zone, right? The, what, what people call the blue ocean. If you don't know, you should look up... Um, uh, the red ocean blue ocean it's it's one of the most popular business books of all time um and it's so applicable uh right now in the internet world uh that every single one of us needs to figure out what is our blue ocean okay and the thing about a blue ocean okay now now blue ocean if you don't know i'll give you the 20 seconds okay blue ocean is where um prices are high customers respect you you're positioned as an authority even if you're not you're positioned as an authority and an expert because you're the only person in that field but you're not solo okay there's still people in that market if you're literally like there's zero people in the market and you're the first fish to swim out there guess what there's no bait there's no there's no ecosystem there's nothing out there so that means you're gonna die you're gonna starve yourself okay but a blue ocean has a perfect balance of very limited competition people that are hungry uh, to, to consume your stuff. And here's the other mo most important thing you need to think about. Okay, this is important for every one of you. The most important thing for you to think about in your market is are people passionate about their stuff? Okay, are they passionate about, um, if you're into like, some of you guys are into like mental health, fitness, um, all these things, right? Are people passionate about that? If they're not passionate, they're not gonna pay money. Okay, so you might actually be in a completely like dead ocean. Like if they're not passionate, you're in the dead, you're in the dead zone. Okay, if they're if they're passionate, but there's a ton of people there and, and you're positioning yourself as a realtor or a Facebook ad expert or whatever, you're positioning yourself the same way, you're in the you're in the red ocean where, where all the sharks are killing all the bait and there's nothing to eat. And then you know what I mean? So like you gotta be in the blue ocean, you gotta be right in the middle. And how do you do that? Okay, here's the thing about business. You don't go out and find blue oceans. You create blue oceans. Okay, I think, I think Russell Brunson's going to talk about this at Funnel Hacking Live. Um, I'll just say some people were asking me questions about this. Okay, um, so I'm pretty sure he's going to talk about it. But if, even if he doesn't, I'll tell you. So um, you create blue oceans. You do not go look for them. There is no such concept in business as going to look for a blue ocean. You create it. Okay, now here's how you create it. You say, if you're, uh, if you're a realtor, you say, um, I specialize in um, creating long-term wealth for people over 45 or singles or millennials, young professionals who are looking to invest and live in a in a um, in a in a home and blah blah blah. Like you position yourself differently. Now that doesn't mean you don't still go get your realtor license or or whatnot. But in your marketing, in your headlines, you have to position yourself differently. Okay. Let me give you a great example. Okay. Last year, uh, I got in touch with some of the ClickFunnels team, executive team, and they asked me to be the poster boy essentially of b2b digital marketing okay um they were at the grant cardone event in 2007 2017 last year's not this year's last year's and the number one thing people asked was uh, apparently uh, what they asked was um does this work for b2b where's the b2b case study where's the big executives and people using this click funnel system well i was the only person they knew and I loved it and I'd blown it up and I used it at big companies, huge companies. And so, um, so I couldn't come into the market and say, Hey, I am a digital marketer. I couldn't come into the market and say, I am a funnel builder. 
I couldn't come into the market and say I am a Facebook ads expert, even though I guarantee you there is no one in the entire ClickFunnels um, Facebook group of a thousand of two a hundred and twenty thousand people who has ever run more money through Facebook ad manager than I have okay I we were spending a hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars a day our our retargeting campaigns was like 200 I'm sorry 320 retargeting campaigns per day I'm not ta I'm not saying ads I'm saying campaigns that's how many retargeting campaigns there was like couple thousand retargeting ads being run every day okay like when you start with a two-man team of ad managers and go to 80 100 130 150 like you learn a lot about Facebook ads okay like I could run the most ridiculous Facebook ad course you've ever seen um, but it's not my passion and and it's a total red ocean Dan Henry was dominating in that space I did not want to go to battle with that guy because I don't want to go to battle with a typhoon when I can create my own blue ocean. So I created my own blue ocean and how, how did I come out? How, how, if you guys remember in August last year, how do you know, I kind of like came out of the blue out of literally like out of nowhere, no one even heard of me. And, um, I mean, some people did, but not, but I wasn't like, you know, like huge or anything. I was on the ClickFunnels homepage like I am now. My $1.7 million one day webinar was no one even knew about it. I didn't want anybody to know about it when I was just running agency stuff. But, um, but when I came out, I came out as a B2B digital marketer. Okay. Now let me ask you a question. For those of you who are in digital marketing, do you sell to businesses or do you sell to consumers? Do you sell to businesses or do you sell to consumers? I guarantee you 95% of you sell to businesses. Okay? So guess who's the B2B digital marketer? Guess who made $71,000 on a side business and $384,000 in five months in a side business that now has become our main business? We're going to do $1.2 1 to $1.7 million this year. The guy who said, I'm going to be a B2B, the B2B digital marketer, the most in-demand B2B digital marketer. I created my own blue ocean. Okay. Nobody could know. Now, was I the first B2B guy in the world? No. Tons of B2B people. Okay. B2B sales people, B2B sales trainers, B2B, like there's tons of B2B stuff out there. B2B software. Like I'm not completely rev like a disruptive market. Like, you know what I mean? This wasn't like the iPhone or something, right? but I created my own blue ocean and I dominated in that space. I created content all over the internet, thousands and thousands of pieces of content. You know, when people looked up B2B funnels or whatever, guess who came up? So why am I saying that? Because that's what you need to do, okay? There are a bunch of you on right now and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if I go to your website right now, in fact, if you want, post your links right here, okay? I'm this, you can post any link you want, your lead page, your homepage, whatever. Is it burning? Oh, we're burning our stuff. Sorry, do you wanna take it off? Sorry, this is what happens when you get too passionate. Your corn burns, ah! But anyway, um, post your links right here. I will look at your funnel, I'll look at your page, and I can tell you right now, if your page says you do Facebook ads, or, you're a funnel builder or whatever, I can guarantee you, you're not making any money. Okay, because you're not positioning yourself as, um, you're not positioning yourself in a blue ocean. You're literally telling everybody, I'm just like everyone else. And guess what, when you're just like everyone else, no one will pay you, okay? You have to be the best, or you have to be VaynerMedia, or you know, one of the, some of the biggest digital market agencies in the country, like you have to be one of those guys, or you're not, gonna, you're not gonna make it. So, and the thing is, we don't have the money, the ad budgets, the teams, the leadership abilities to grow 100 person teams, like most of you don't, and you don't care, and you don't want to, you would never wanna have a 100 person team, right? So, if you're not that, okay, then you need to be smarter in how you position yourself. You need to position yourself a, a, as a blue ocean opportunity, okay? So when people think of you as a realtor, they don't think of you as a realtor, they think of you as um, somebody who helps, um, you know, um, uh, young professional millennials and, uh, you know, um, 
create long-term wealth or generate over $100,000 in the next 10 years of side income um, through equity in their home or so something like that, right? So what do you do? You sell them a home? Fine. But why don't you sell them a course as well or give them as a bonus a course that teaches them how to create equity in their home for the next 10 years so they, ha they have $100,000, right? Simple, simple stuff, guys, okay? So you can do that with whatever you do, okay? If you do mental health, if you do what, like whatever you do, you can create your own blue ocean opportunity literally by grabbing your phone, taking the top 10 things you know, recording it, putting it on a whiteboard or a, white, or a piece of paper, whiteboarding it all out, rec recording all that, like do an hour, do 45 minutes, do half hour, do two hours recording, whatever you need to do. Look, if you don't have a place to go record, go to the library. That's the first place I recorded when I was really young. So I went to the library for free, okay? They have whiteboards. Buy a $5 set of markers, nice markers. Grab, buy, buy a $20 tripod and go record your stuff on a whiteboard and make it ridiculously sick and cut all that content up into 100 pieces of content. Sell it as a bonus. Give it away as a, like put it all on the internet. Look, here's the deal. If you cut that up, if you record 100 or an hour, you can, record, you can cut that up, an hour, 60 minutes, you can cut that up into at least 20 pieces of content, at least 20 pieces of blurbs and little things here and there, right? And you put all that out on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere, right? If I go on your Facebook page right now, do I see at least 10 to 20 pieces of content of you talking about your doctrine? Probably not. And, the, and I can guarantee if I don't, you're probably not making the money that you want to make, okay? Um, so just because it's all out there and it's spread out doesn't mean you still can't sell it all in aggregate as an upsell, okay? And so if you're a, a realtor or a life coach or whatever, um, you can sell your normal services, do your normal thing, sell your insurance or whatever it is, but you also sell this online course. You tell people, look, for the next 10, 20 years, I'm going to be updating this course with the most updated information. You're always going to know how to maintain equity, how to do lines of credit, how to do, how to make sure you're, how to check your credit, like all those things. Like, guys, that stuff's super easy. You can go to YouTube and get all the content and, and create it, your, and, you know, hack it, create it yourself. I'm not saying copy it. I'm saying like model it. And, uh, and create your own opportunities out of it. All right. All right. That's what I got. Hit some likes, comments, um, and let me know what you guys think um, about that. Man, there's like a lot of comments coming in. Um, Jesse says, you making popcorn? I pretty much was making popcorn. I burnt my corn, I think. Uh, Pro Chrome Media, I'll check you out, Jose. Um, what's up, Matt Donovan? What's up, bro? What's up, uh, Acklin? Uh, Jose says, my website failed the Blue Ocean test. <laughs> That's all good, dude. At least you know. Christopher says, conversion 911. Hey, I like that. I like that. Conversion 911. I like that. If I click on that, it'd be cool to see what it is. What's up, what's up Cindy? What's up, Roberto? He says, uh, your chicken is burning. <laughs> it was burning. Uh, Salvador... Jesse says, uh, going through your course, it's gold. Awesome, bro. Glad you bought it. I think uh, you're going to be blown away by that, bro. Uh, William says, I can't take notes fast enough. Uh, uh, I'll be a hashtag replay. It's awesome. What's up, Ed Brody? Ed Brody speaking at our event in Orlando. Um, what's up, Josh? What's up, bro? If you guys aren't following Josh, you need to. What's up, Kimberly? What's going on? Okay, guys. Everyone have a good day. What's up, uh, Uzwala? Thanks for being here, brother. Um, all right, guys, I will uh, see you later. Once again, I'm going to start traveling tomorrow, so I'll be doing stuff in the airport and all kinds of stuff. You guys can hang out. And everything that I learn, I'm going to be dropping it in here, okay, in real time. So, anyway, that's how I roll. That's Number one, that's one way I learn is I retain the knowledge. Is the first uh, Right when I learn it, I start teaching it. And when you do that, statistically, you're going to have 300% better mental retention when you teach it within the next first 24 hours of when you learned it. So anyway, if you're still hanging around to the end, you just learned some serious gold. You should be doing that too, okay? Like I just told you something right now. If you have a Facebook group and you have 100 people in there, why don't you take what I just said right now and go teach it right now in your group? Okay? <laughs> so, all right, guys. Everyone take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.